American sound of rock and roll, here's George Clinton. Yeah, George. This is going to be fun. It is great to have you guys here. As you know, we're playing for points. Normally, the player at the end of the game with most points goes home with $5,000. You guys have been gracious enough to play for charities. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the game. Shall we get started? Let's go. All right, let's light up the board, Kevin. Remember, there's one daily double in this round, and I'll help you with this. Responses in the form of a question. Let's check out the categories. Songs by the number. Radio friendly. Mm -hmm. oh. Mike at the mic. Elton John lyrics, sample this, party mix, Mr. Clinton, if you would, please get us started. Uh, sample this for 200. MC Hammer could touch this Rick James song, he sampled it on You Can't Touch This. Dave. What is uh, Super Freak? Super Freak, that's it. Hey, wow. You're bored. Uh, <laughs> songs, by num songs by the number for 100. You promised me, man. Stray Cat song about a girl who's a little bit obscene. Moon. What is sexy in 17? I bet you were, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I want to go to Radio Friendly for 100. No Static at All is the subtitle of this Steely Dan radio song. Dave. What is FM? You're right again. Uh, Mike at the mic for 100. On his band single, Everybody Hurts, this singer, as always, was at the mic. Moon. Who is... Uh, what's his name? No. Mike the Snipe! Because you said Mike. All right, at the buzzer. <laughs> oh, same category for 200. For the 20th anniversary tour, he turned down an opportunity to perform with the Monkees. George. Mike Nesby. Who is? Who is Mike Nesby? That's the one. <laughs> nice job. Welcome to the game. Uh, party mix. For 200. Especially at a beach party. Spin the Ventures theme to this Jack Lord TV show. Dave. What is the theme from Hawaii Five Bowl? Right. You're up. Uh, Elton John lyrics for 100. The biggest kick I ever got was doing a thing called this. Dave. What is the Crocodile Rock? Yeah. Elton That's John right. lyrics for 200. It begins, hello baby, hello, haven't seen your face for a while. Dave. What is Harmony? You're on a roll. Elton John lyrics for 300. Song that says, don't give us none of your aggravation. We had it with your discipline. Dave. What is Saturday night's all right for fighting. Right Let's on. Elton <clears throat> well, uh, okay. John lyrics for 400. <laughs> he was born a pauper to a pawn on a Christmas day. Moon. What is... Is it me? <laughs> no. Come Dave. On. What is leave on? Leave on. Elton John lyrics for 500. Title that precedes, don't want to be a feather in your cap. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> you set your watch. I don't know one. What is, I don't want to go on with you like that? Dave, still your board. Okay, mic at the mic for 300. The sultry good looks of this singer helped make New Sensation a top 10 hit. Dave. Who is Michael Hutchins? Yep. Mic at the mic for 400. Oh, and it is the Daily Double. Moon is giving Dave a little attitude. You're off to a fast lead. Mm -hmm. How much you want to wager? Uh, how about, well, since I'm creaming them, 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing for points, unfortunately, but for 500, okay, 500 points, points. Here's the Daily Devil. He probably the split. His first release as a solo performer was the aching ballad, Got to Be There. Who is Michael Jackson? Yep. Oh, and you're extending your lead. Mike at the mic for 500. This superstar was born in Dartford, England in 1943 with the given names Michael Phillip. Well. <laughs> Who is Mike Who is Tyson? Mick Jagger? Oh. All right, Dave. Really? You're still up. Okay. How about Radio Friendly for 200? Take a look. Hi, everyone. I'm Graham Nash. The answer is, in 1972, I played harmonica on this beautiful lady's hit, You Turn Me On, I'm a Radio. George. Stevie Wonder. No. <laughs> I like the way you That's right. <laughs> Who is Joni Mitchell? Dave, you're Radio still Radio for 300. Harry Chapin was the morning DJ on this station, playing all the hits for you wherever you may be. How old are the writers? Uh, what is uh, WKRP? No. What is W-O-L-D? Dave, you're Radio still up. Radio Friendly for 400. In 1977, he sang Radio Radio on Saturday Night Live after he was told not to. Blank looks. Who's Elvis Costello? 
Radio, Radio friendly for 500. <laughs> Radio Waves is a track from this 1987 Roger Waters album. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is radio chaos? All right, Dave, get us going. Well, since I'm sucking now, uh, songs by the number 200. In the title of a 1978 hit, it follows your once, twice. What is three times Dave. a lady? Yes, what is three times a lady? <laughs> Never once yet, myself, thanks. Uh, songs by the number 300. We could all use a little bit of this, the title of the following. I took my troubles down to Madam Ruth. You know that Dave, it with what is love potion number nine? That's it. Just beat you in, Moon. Uh, songs by the number 400. You better stop and look around according to a Rolling Stone song because here comes this. Dave, uh, what is here comes your 19th nervous breakdown? Yep. Songs by the number 500. Does anybody have any idea what the title of this 1970 song by Chicago means? Dave. It is 25 or 6 to 4. That's it. Less than a minute left, guys. You have really weird taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll sample this for a hundred. I'll be missing you. A tribute to Notorious B.I.G. samples heavily from this 1983 police hit. Moon. Uh, what is every breath you take? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll stay with this uh, category for 300. <laughs> Remember that this Patrice Russian song is the basis for Will Smith's Men in Black. Moon. Who is pavement? No. Hell of a guess. What is forget me not? It's not as easy as it looks, is it? No, no, okay. it isn't. Dave, uh, actually, Moon's no, still promise. Okay. Oh, uh, sample this for 400. Think about it is sampled in Rob Bass's It Takes Two, which is sampled in his I'm Not Running Anymore. Moon. Who is Dweezil and Ahmed Zappa? No. <laughs> God, you're getting the family plugs in. <laughs> Who is John Mellencamp? Mm. Moon, you're still up. Okay, this is, uh, how about the party mix for 300? <laughs> if you serve flat beer, your guests may crank up this 1984 Twisted Sister anthem. Um, <laughs> Moon? Who is... Uh, I just read The Bell Jar. It's a pretty good book. <laughs> hey, we're not going to take it. Is that right? <laughs> you're right. God, thank God that's the end of the first round. Going to take a quick break. Come back and meet these guys. Find out what charities are playing for right after this. You're watching a Rock and Roll Jeopardy marathon only on VH1. Friend to you guys find out who they're playing for. Dave, how about you? Charity of the day. That would be the Boys and Girls Club of Phoenix, Arizona. Excellent. Why Phoenix? Is that where you're? That's where I live. Yeah. Oh, cool. Very nice. They'll be happy to see that you're doing well right now. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> You, Moon. Very nice you guys come down here and spend your time and play for someone else. I am betraying the Pediatric AIDS Foundation by earning them no points <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now, but you're still going home with stuff either that, way. That, okay. There are prizes. Okay. You're still in. Thank you. Thank Very you. cool. This. Thank you. All right, George. How about you? Well, I'm down at my mother's hip, but they're going to fire me after the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> George, is that, is that what grant, educational grant? Program? Yes. It's a uh, education that give grants um, to kids, you know, education grants to kids. Very cool. All right. Very nice of you guys to get out here and do all this stuff. Second round, we're playing for more points. Points are double. Two daily. Moon, you keep pointing that zapper at me and zapping me. I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's get to the board. Let's take a look at the categories. Songwriting teams. Bird bands. Guitar giants. Comfort songs. Oh. Gone too soon. <laughs> party mix. Party is in quotes, so party will be in your response. It's a clue, Moon. Alrighty. Third goes first. Surprise. That's you. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Guitar Giants for 200. Dave Evans, known as this, plays reverb heavy lead guitar for you, too. Dave, who is the edge? Yeah. <laughs> guitar Giants for 400. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist, he was killed in 1982 when his plane buzzed <laughs> Ozzy's bus. Please! Dave. <laughs> what was Randy yeah! <laughs> yeah. You gotta watch the light. You're Listen, he did all the Elton ones. I get to do this one. <laughs> That's the buzzer. I'm trying. Here, try mine. It works. <laughs> it's in the same place, too. <laughs> guitar guys for 600. 
1986 album Strong Persuader and the song Smoke and Gun were hits for this bluesman. Moon! Who is Tom Waits? Because I don't know the answer. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> he's, he's Who is Robert person. Cray? Oh, good. Mm. Fine. Guitar Giant's for 800. Starting in 1969, Robert Fripp's guitar powered this royal British art rock band. George. Uh, Cream Crimson. Who is? Uh, who is Cream Crimson? Yes, you're on, baby. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All right, George. Pick the category. Oh, songwriting teams for uh, four. As writers and producers of songs like Miss You Much, this duo helped make Janet Jackson a superstar. George. Who is Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis? That's it. Look at that. Yeah, George. Uh, songwriting teams for 200. Dash Crofts and this man teamed up as both writers and performers on songs like Diamond Girl. Moon. Who is the Innocence Mission? Because I don't know it again. <laughs> no. You're deeper in the hole. Who is Jim Seals? Oh, Seals and Crofts. You say you were trying to say it. <laughs> were you going there? Yeah. I'm sorry. I rushed you. You're bored. Bird pants for two. I can't explain it, but in 1980, they slowed things down a bit with the song, I Can't Tell You Why. Moon. Did I hit the thing? Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Uh, who is a uh, try reading books for a change? <laughs> no. Who are the Eagles? All right. <laughs> George, you're up. Songwriting teams for six. The team of Mike Chapman and Nikki Chin took over this band's career and wrote their hit Ballroom Blitz. Dave, who is uh, Sweet? Sweet is right. You're up. Songwriting teams for 800. Writing the way we were is among the misty watercolored memories of these married lyricists. Married lyricists. Moon. Oh, who is Burt Bacharach and Carol Bear Sager? Nope. Very good guess, though. No. <laughs> who is Alan Marilyn Bergman? Fine. Fine. Dave. <laughs> Song writing piece for a thousand. Motown trio who wrote such classics as Reach Out, I'll Be There, and You Keep Me Hanging On. George. Holland Doge, who is Holland Doge Holland? Nice job. Big one for a thousand. You're up, George. <laughs> Word bands for 400. David Cassidy and Shirley Jones were the only members of this group who actually sang on the recordings. Moon. Who is the Partridge family? Yes! yes! <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm playing this uh, credit card debting style, and I'm heading back toward clearing the thing back to zero. So I'd like to stay with this category for 600. It's a video clue. The band, seen here. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Moon. Who is a uh, flock of seagulls? God, I hope you get that. You're up, Moon. Keep going. You can get back to Same zero. Same category for 800. Taking their name from an old rhyme, they flew to fame with their August and Everything After album. Moon! Who are the County Crows? Yes! <laughs> Pitt, you're up! Um, okay, same category for a thousand. This group, led by brothers Chris and Rich Robinson, might be a little hard to handle. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> no! Who is the Black Crows? Yeah. Moon, you can't go in until the light comes on. All right. You're going too soon. All right. Dave, guitar you're up. for a thousand. Steve Stevens played guitar on several Billy Idol hits. This Steve was a guitar he wrote for David Lee Roth. Dave. Who is Steve Vai? Yeah. I, I knew that one. Yeah, sure. Dave, you're up. Gone too soon for 200. Living in Paris when he died in 1971, he's buried in Père Lachaise Cemetery, not far from Chopin. Dave. Who is Jim Morrison? Right again. Gone too soon for 400. <laughs> in 1973, she was on top of the world. A decade later, she was gone. Moon. Who is Karen Carpenter? Right. <laughs> oh, quit bloating and pick. <laughs> Same category for 600. The true cause of her 1974 death was a heart attack, not choking on a ham sandwich. Dave. Who is Mama Cass? Right. Uh, 
Gone too soon for 800. <laughs> oh, and you got the daily. Ah! That was nothing. With a range of fours, got a pretty decent lead. How about 2,000? For 2,000 points, here is your daily double. Victims of two motorcycle crashes, Barry Oakley and this guitarist are buried side by side in Macon, Georgia. Who's Barry Oakley? Oh! She's, I don't know. Who is Dwayne Allman? Ooh. It's Titans a very game up dark there. category. It is a dark category. Life is dark sometimes. All right. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Gone too soon for a thousand. Dwayne. Doug Hopkins, a founder of this group, was fired from the band in 1992, and a year later took his own life. Moon. Who is me playing this game? You know that cost you a thousand, right? Uh, Who are the gin blossoms? I was going to say that. About a minute oh. left. Dave, you're up. Okay, party mix for a thousand. This fishbone tune came out in 1985 when people were all worked up about nuclear war. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is party at ground zero? Oh, party's going to be in the... Oh. Okay, party yes. mix for 800. Carl Wallinger leads this band whose big songs include Ship of Fools and Way Down Now. Party up. Moon. Who is World Party? Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Juice. Same category, 600. In concert, Rod Stewart calls up the spirit of Sam Cooke with Twisting the Night Away and this song. What is having a party? All right. Mm. Moon, you're up. Oh, ooh, uh, comfort <laughs> songs for a thousand. Assurance given by the New Beats in 1964 and by Mary Magdalene in Jesus Christ Superstar. Assurance? Um, Moon? Who is Matchbox 20? <laughs> what is everything's all right? All right. Oh, darn, we're out of time for this round. First place for their charity, you're going home with $5,000. What else do you have, Loretta? The charity of today's first place winner will also receive a $1,000 shopping spree for music, movies, electronics, games, and more, courtesy of the Sony Card. Start turning your spending into everything entertaining with the Sony Card from Citibank, the official currency of Playtime. For the charity of today's second place contestant, from Mars, the Musician's Planet, this Gibson Blues Hot Guitar and a GA15 amp from Mars Music and Recording Superstore. For the charity of today's third place contestant, Love Music, here are CD collections no fan should be without. All from Sony Music's Legacy Recordings. What will you listen to next? And all our celebrity contestants receive this exclusive Rock and Roll Jeopardy pullover from rockjeopardy.com. Find more cool stuff when you log on to our website at rockjeopardy.com. Back to you. Thanks, Loretta. Today's final Rock and Roll Jeopardy category is... Hit songs. We'll give uh, George and Dave a couple minutes. We'll give Moon five or six minutes. We'll be right back. The main important thing about uh, having music is Moon up into the plus column. Final Rock and Roll Jeopardy category is hit songs. Players, here's your clue. This 1980 song is the only top 40 hit that begins with the letter X. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Writing at the last second is Moon Zappa. Moon, let's see your Wait. response, which you just tried right. to cross out, but you can't. What is X marks the spot was what I was going for, because no. I don't know. <laughs> you wagered a very pretty 500, though. Thanks. And you're down to zero. Let's go next door to the man, George Clinton. What was your response? No. No, it's a tough one, isn't it? What would you yeah. wager? You were going for it. Yeah. Keeps you in the second place. <laughs> down to the man on the end, currently in first place. Well, I wrote down what is the X in sex, but the thing turned off, and that's what I have left. Oh, that too is also the correct response. Is that math? Xanadu. Oh. Olivia Newton, John, and ELL. What would you wager, Dave? I wager... You were smart. <laughs> You're going home with five. You're going home with five thousand dollars. Come on over, say hello. Get over here. We're out of time, everybody. See you next time. So long. Congratulations. Come on over, George. You're watching the Rock and Roll Jeopardy Marathon. And remember to see it at its regular time, Saturday mornings at 11, 10 Central, only on VH1.
You're watching a Rock and Roll Jeopardy marathon only on VH1.